Hi, Eloise. How's it going? Really, I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Good, good. Uh, well, thanks for sitting with me again today. I just wanted to, to touch base super quick again and, and see, um, talk a little bit about preparing for competition. Um, so uh, last time we sat down, we talked a little bit about you and your horses and, and how you got into them and stuff like that. Um, so this time around, um, let's just talk about competition and leading up to it. So how do you prepare yourself for competition? Like, do you have any advice for um, up and coming dressage competitors, um, you know, how they would prepare themselves for comp? Yeah. Um, so personally, I don't stress too much about competition. I know competition can sometimes be very nerve wracking or stressful and it definitely depends on, you know, the level or type of competition you're doing. Um, but I like to just try and take a breath and uh, prepare myself as best I can. Um, in the probably the week leading up, I still, the first part of the week, I like to, you know, keep my training the same. Um, but maybe in the last couple of days, I like to run through the whole test um, a couple of days mm -hmm. before the competition so that I can then sort of pick through it and go, okay, well, that part was, I'm, I'm happy with that part, but uh, I will work on this part the next day. Um, that's how I like to uh, ride in the lead up. Um, probably on the day of competition, I'm up with plenty of time. So it's not sort of you're getting there and absolutely rushing and then everything falls apart. You want to get there with enough time so that you can just sort of take your time, get your horse ready. If you need to do something else, it's, you're not so confined to a, a time restriction, really. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I like to get there with plenty of time, have lots of time to get ready and get on and make my way over to the ring and, yeah, start my warm-up. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, I guess the week leading up to just make sure it's practice, practice, practice as normal um, and just being really familiar with um, with your tests that you're, that you're planning on doing and then... Um, on the day of just make sure that there's no added stresses um, with time restrictions and stuff like that. So just make sure you've just properly prepared in general. Um, that's cool. Good advice. Um, so what about your horses? How do you prepare your horses leading up to competition? So obviously, um, you know, you preparing yourself with that test, do you think your horses find that familiarity with, with doing the, a similar kind of pattern again and again, or, or is there a few specific things you focus on with getting your horses ready? I think with the tests with, with the horses, it can depend on the horse. Some of them are very smart and they go, I know exactly what you're going to do, so I'm going to do it for you. And so I mm -hmm. think if you have a horse like that, um, it's probably best not to actually run through maybe those parts of the test, or you could mm -hmm. alter the test at home and say, say a horse wants to do the pirouette before you're ready to do it, you actually keep going with your line and then you do it after the where it would be in a test. They have to keep sort of waiting for you instead of anticipating and, and taking a, a step ahead of you. So um, mm. I think with, with that, with horses that are um, smart with tests, yes. But I think if they're maybe new into the level, then definitely run through the harder parts of the test or anything that maybe you don't feel as confident with or if the horse doesn't feel as confident with so that they have the time to be able to get used to it. Um, mm. yeah. Cool. Okay. So what about um, leading up to competition? Like before and after competition, how are you feeding your horses? So what are you doing um you know, the week before, are you changing your diet at all? And the day of competition, are you changing or are you keeping all of that the same? No, I, we keep ours very consistent. They get the same feed, um, whether it is competition season or if it isn't. Because at home we're training quite consistently all the time, um, their feed doesn't change as much. If they having, are having a little bit of time off, it might take, you know, a scoop or half a scoop off so they don't get too fat. Um, but... <laughs> Up to competition, we keep their feed the same. When they're at competition, if we're, you know, doing an overnighter, it's the same. Um, I might give them a bit of a scoop for breakfast, maybe a little bit more than I would um, at home, just so they've got that bit of extra energy and maybe a bit of lining in their gut um, and definitely feeding them hay with that. But 
uh, think consistency and keeping everything as normal as you can is, for me, I believe it's quite important. So we like to do that. Yeah, cool. Um, no, well, I think that's uh, I think that's a really good idea, keeping it consistent all the time. Um, so with um, uh, like working your horses consistently and, and training them consistently, whether it's competition time or not, I would well assume that you've probably been out today riding your horses and training them. Like, are you, are you continuing training them in the current climate with there being not too many con um, competitions ahead at, at, at this point in time? Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, it's, it is quite sad that uh, lots of our major competitions have been cancelled, but you have to look at the positive that you can then keep going with your training and maybe stepping up another level. Like while we have this time of no competitions, you take it as a time to be able to advance your training and be, be able to train mm -hmm. that maybe you were holding off on because you were going into the lower level. So no, I'm mm -hmm. definitely still going and trying to step it up a little bit more than maybe I would have if I had competitions on at the moment. Yeah, I love that. So not only are you not decreasing your riding and bushing your horses, you're ramping it up and you're you're really trying to better yourself and your horse in this in this little bit of a downtime with competition so that's awesome it's so positive and it's such a positive outlook um and and we love that so um we wish you all the best with um you know progressing yourself and your horses in this time and really look forward to seeing you out in the competition ring again so thanks again for sitting with me this morning and um we will talk again in the very near future thank you Haley. it was great